people are going to want to know, is anybody using this technology? Is uh, there are, uh, right now in the United States that I know of, 18,000 clinics. 18,000? 18, 18,000 clinics using this technology. I taught seven companies how to make it. Uh, about five other companies came in and stole the information from them, which if they'd come and asked me, I'd have handed it to them. Huh. Because I knew it was going to need 20 or 25 years out there before it got itself established and so what I did was I let other people do it and I ran around in front of them like the man that runs in front of a curling iron and sweeping sweeping a pathway for it. I went around in front of them sweeping a pathway in front of the FDA and uh, time I spent a lot of money and a lot of time and effort and got this device actually approved and so I'm now ready after 28 years of having this device out there and about somewhere between you know, probably 1.2 to 4 million or maybe more patient visits behind it, all computerized. Uh, in the medical terminology, it's anecdotal because the patient can't tell you if they're well or they don't have the symptom any longer. That's illegal. But uh, I'm now ready to go up against any one of them because I can prove that my diagnoses with this type of machine are absolutely correct because when they go look with conventional uh, diagnostic uh, tools and equipment, I'll see, I'll see the problem as much as 20 years before it manifests itself in the body where common medical uh, things can test it. How can I prove that? Well, I wait 20 years and prove it. That's what we've done. That's why I have 27 years of, of testing done on it. That's why I have people that came and thought it was a fraud and didn't accept the medication. And I, but I watched them over a period of time and saw them eventually die of what I told them they would die from. So I now have enough evidence. I'm ready to go and, and do that, except I'm not going to do that because I don't have any desire to be assassinated. But I have people that have more testicles than I have that are willing to do it. Part of my 10 years in the Marine Corps. You said there's a lot of clones of this technology out there. People have stolen it from you. and, and They didn't steal it from me. They stole it from other people. I gave it away. So they couldn't steal it from me. If they'd come to me, I'd have given it to them. Is it variable in terms of how well they work? Like Oh, absolutely. Yeah. They And he can dial up on the machine now some 850,000 different substances that are in this world. Uh, all the medications of every medical system known, all the herbals of every herbal system known, all the magic healing potions of every magic healing potion system known, all the chemicals that are out there that are man-made, all the chemicals that you find in nature, all the vitamins, all the minerals, all the pharmaceuticals in the homeopathic pharmacopoeia and in the allopathic pharmacopoeia. Everything's there. So you can do it. The machine will help you sort those out and find out exactly what will alleviate the problem. And many times you'll find something that will alleviate a problem in the, in the, for example, the small intestine, but find that it'll, it'll aggravate the neural system. So you say, oh, well, there must be another medication that'll work and, and not counteract something here. So you can go back and find that particular medication. Now you know what to give. Now you can ask it, okay, if I'm going to give this, how much should I give? It'll tell you an exact amount. And like everything in nature, there's a bell curve produced, a curve that looks like a bell, and you want that medication that's right at the peak of the bell curve. You want just that amount that will produce that reaction. And bang, you give it. And many times when we give the medications to a patient, they'll bounce up and down like they were at Disneyland on Mr. Toad's Wild Ride. And all of a sudden, oh, oh, I've had that pain for 20 years and now it's gone. Did we heal them? No. Did we cure them? No. Why do I say no? Because it's against the law. Do they believe they were healed? Yes. Do they believe they are cured? Yes. What makes the difference? Again, I'm building a laboratory in a factory where I will produce these. And instead of having to do like you have to do today to pay between twelve and fifty thousand dollars for one of the machines, oh, I've got one that's built in a fountain pen, and we'll probably sell it for around ninety-nine dollars. Wow! But there are similar healing modalities in existence. Oh, which is there are some that work beautifully. Radionics, but the, well, well, yeah, the, uh, there are radionics machines that. Uh, 
I'm not saying it's the same. I'm just saying that it's something that works. Yeah, works in very well. Oh, it works very well, and it works with the. Um, yes, exactly right. It works through the informational field. But people can also, as you said, massage these points best, in their hand. Best medical machine ever invented were these two little things we call acucombs that you just rub your points with and get well. Is there a way people could build those on their own? Uh, they probably could as soon as they saw one, but it's easier and cheaper to buy one for me because I've paid thousands of dollars for the tooling and they stamp them out like me. You can find out how you'll react to any food. One of the best things is that Anyway, how does this? How do my organs react to that? This right. thing will tell you exactly because this part, this finger, and the distal side of the middle finger tells you about food absorption here and allergy here, and it will tell you whether you have an allergic dispensation toward that medicine. It'll tell you that that that. Anesthetic. It'll tell you how your body will react to it. How does it tell you? By making an indication. What? There's an indication on a meter and on a chart. And when you learn how to read the meter and learn how to read the chart, which taught in approximately one minute, uh, you can tell whether you're going to have an allergic reaction or not. Another thing we found was uh, out of an animal, uh, major university's animal husbandry department, we found that there are 30 C substances that all humans and all animals are allergic to. And we found out that we can measure here and we can find out exactly, if you have allergies, exactly what you're allergic to. And then we can take that material and, and prepare it homeopathically and give you a couple drops under the tongue and that allergy will disappear entirely. And then after a period of time, it may come back, and we'll find that you need a homeopathic remedy of a different, what they call potency or strength. And then you take that. And sometimes it takes you three or four days to chase this thing around, the, around and find out exactly what you need. But eventually, you'll get to an end point, and you won't have that allergy. And as far as I know, when we've tested people now for 28 years, nobody's ever had an allergy come back. Wow. And we're dealing strictly with an informational system here that modern science refuses to uh, to do, but it doesn't seem to make much difference to those people who had allergies and don't that modern science doesn't like it. It doesn't it doesn't fit their paradigm, which is wrong. I just want to say on camera here that what we are very clear about, having spent quite some time talking with you, that you're not trying to get rich through any of this. You want to make this no, I, I, I don't. No, I have no need to make any money. The only reason I want to build the things is so they're built right, because that gives the that lets the doctor do the treatment for much less or the diagnosis for much less money. And remember, the doctor only uses us to help him in making his diagnoses. Diagnoses can't be made by a machine; only made by a doctor. Yeah. And that's yeah, why, yeah. in the beginning, we only sold them to card-carrying AMA, card-carrying MDs. Then we sold a few to uh, chiropractors, we sold a few of them to osteopaths, a few of them to naturopaths, and then uh, 18 years ago there were about 350 veterinarians using them. And they were working perfectly. They could find out what problems animals had and how to solve the problem. Point in my life that uh, uh, the only thing I can do now to make my life worthwhile is to share the wisdom that I've obtained as a stone rolling through this interesting uh, experience of life on Earth. I've been involved with trying to build uh, flying saucers. You usually found that flying saucers, if you look at most of the movies, there always seems to be a robot involved with it.